Well, welcome everybody to the 2017 Firefighters Memorial. Let's begin the service with prayer, asking God's blessing. Lord, we bow in your presence today. We thank you very humbly for the gift of life and the gift of service. We thank you for the town of West Bridgewater. Pray for all of the residents today, keep them safe. And Lord, bless those first responders, keep them safe as well today. As we honor the memories of these men and women, today we also remember their families, pray your blessings upon them. And all of this we ask in your holy name, in the name of Christ, amen. Well, today is a very special day and we want to recognize the men who have served the town of West Bridgewater. In a few moments we'll be reading the names Right now, Chief Hunt is going to make a few welcoming remarks. Chief. Thank you, Pastor. Good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you for being here this morning. Uh, on behalf of the department, on behalf of our members, uh, we appreciate, we really appreciate you taking the time uh, to be with us here this morning to remember members of the department that uh, Unfortunately, as I get older, the more of them I know. Yes. <laughs> but uh, again, thank you for being here and uh, look forward to a great service. At this time, we're going to have the reading of the names of the deceased members of the department. Sumner T. Johnson, Frank P. Hatch, Harvey Irving, Warren P. Lawton, Frederick N. Pillsbury, Irvin W. Lothrop, John Wilbur, William H. Mackenber, Edwin L. Bourne, Leo A. Puccini, Thomas J. Carnes, Harvey S. Hatch, Clifford W. Davis, Julian Ciampa, William E. Gibson, George W. Thompson, Elmer Helgeson, James P. Peterson, Fred W. Holmberg, J. Henry Spalese, Cecil N. Andrews, J. Edward Hurley, Thomas F. Guinea, Orestes Holmes, George Davis, Ernest Newcomb, Leonard Purdy, Howard B. Taylor, Gerald Wilbur, Henry M. Howard, Raymond C. Keith, C. Douglas Hill, Francis X. Burke, Anton Souza, Alphonse M. Braga, Charles F. Ames, Lyle J. Farnham, George W. Gaskell, Edward J. Grant, Thomas B. Miles, Richard E. Keith, Elmer O. Hunt, Joseph P. Souza, Edward G. Asak, Edwin T. Gibson, L. Merrill Coswell, Robert L. Fisher, Warren P. Lawton, Jr., David W. Grippen, Sr., William E. Gibson, Jr., Francis J. Crowley, Richard E. Norris, P. Douglas Eaton, John C. Eldridge, Bradford E. Herrick, Sr., Gordon K. Ross, Sr., Clinton P. Howard, Sr., William E. Kelleher, Alfred L. Lucci, Charles F. Minor, Warren I. Green, Richard N. Karsh, Wesley A. Howard, Thomas B. McQuinn, Charles T. Hatch, Thomas W. Dunleavy, Glendon T. Golder, Howard G. Miles, Charles D. Anderson, Arthur C. Pagani, Edward R. Hackinson, George R. Souza, Charles A. Dyke, 
Thomas W. Hunt. We'll now have the laying of the wreath, gentlemen. Join me in a moment of silence. Thank you. The scripture that we often read on a day such as this is from the Gospel of John. Greater love has no man than this, man lay down his life for his friends. As we remember that scripture today, we are grateful for those who serve. And today, in many ways, it seems like we stood here just yesterday, but it was a year ago. Time goes so quick. And I think the older we get, the faster time goes and we realize just how precious every moment is. And it's the, it is these who serve that allow us to cherish every day, every moment. The firefighters that we have remembered today risked their lives, they gave of their time so that others might Enjoy this life and all that God has given. So time is such a great commodity that we have so little of. Today we remember that. We cherish every moment. We thank the God of heaven who gave us such a wonderful gift. So today as we pause and remember, we are thankful. We are thankful to the God of heaven gave these very, very dedicated servants, and we remember them fondly and their families. In closing, would you bow with me in prayer? Our Heavenly Father, we're reminded of the gracious gift of life today. As we stand here on this beautiful day, we know that there are others who are serving right now. And we pray for them. We pray for their health and strength. We pray for their wisdom. And Lord, we ask you to bless them and their families. And as we remember these who have served the town of West Bridgewater, we give thanks with grateful hearts and honor you, the God of heaven. Thank you for all your wonderful gifts. It is in your holy name that we pray today and give thanks. Amen. This closes our service today. Thank you again for your attention. Thank you for your faithfulness. God bless you. Till Ted Hutt. Dismissed.